Hello, my name is James Allen and I am with the Third Gen Group. I am here to give a tutorial on how to set up an email account via your mail client Windows Live Mail. Windows Live Mail is now the replacement mail client for Outlook Express which was once upon a time a part of your Windows software package or your Windows operating system. So now that has just been replaced with the Windows Live Mail which is pretty cool. Um, I use Windows Live Mail um, for a catch-all for all my email addresses that I have. I have many clients and um, as you can see here I, I have about five or eight different email um, addresses that actually come here and I can view them all in one place instead of having to go to several places to check each email. This works for your webmail, your, your, um, like Yahoo, Google, Eudora, um, you name it. You can pretty much um, set up um, an account in your live mail to actually catch it all. Alright, well let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Once you open up your Windows Live Mail, you will um, immediately proceed to your Accounts tab. Okay, under your Accounts tab, underneath you see two um, other links. You have your Add Mail link, you have your News Group link, link, and then you have a link for Properties. We want to go ahead and say Add Email. Choose that link. Okay, your um, add email link shows up and the first thing you want to do is put in your new email address or the email address that you are actually that you want to set set up to um, come into your live mail. And I'm going to just say new email as a, as a matter, yeah, I'll just do that. New email at the third gen group dot com password um, it it um, you have to use the same password that you use to actually set up your account so so if it's a Yahoo um, email you need to use that email that you use to get into your email account they are synonymous so for here we're gonna just say give a password and then we need to put in here displayed name of your um, sent messages. This is going to be important for because um, if you're going to use it as a catch-all like I have, I need to be able to differentiate which email account I am actually um, sending mail from. So for here, I'm going to say the third gen group because that way I, I know that this is coming from that email um, um, client, if you will. Okay. And next, you can go ahead and, and um, choose make this my default email. For me, the answer is going to be no. But for you, if it's, if it's your only one, or if you, or or if this is truly your your main email account um, that you want everything to come through, you can you can choose that and be done with it. I, I say no for me. Manually configure ser um, server settings. Go ahead and, and check that box and hit next. Okay. Um, now you have options of of your server type. I choose, I always use IMAP and I use IMAP because it, um, what it allows you to do is, is more dynamic. POP is more static, IMAP is dynamic. Dynamic in the terms of if I, like on my phone, I have an Android phone. On, on my phone I set up my email accounts. If I set up the same email account on my Android phone, if I choose to delete an email um, or write an email, something like that, or or just delete it. It will also be deleted off of the server or the main email account. So that way, I don't have to delete it in multiple places. If I if I delete it on my on my computer for my computer, um, the live mail portion is will also be deleted on my um, Android phone as well. Pop doesn't do that. You will have to delete it in both places. I mean, they both have their, their pros and cons, and there's, of course, there, there are more differences <clears throat> between the two, but that's, for me, that's the main differences, and therefore, I use IMAP. My server address. The server address, you need to get that information from your email provider. Um, for those who, yeah, like your Yahoo, you will, um, 
they actually have an email server that you will use it probably something like mail dot um, yahoo dot com or something something like that but for mine it's it's it, it is mail dot third the third gen group dot com and I am I guess not typing so well today but they but that's my mail server um, and mine d do require a a secure uh, connection some of them don't um, you don't have to do that but for me because of the, the nature I actually use the secure stuff so um, you can you can leave the uh, authenticate using you can you can leave it for clear text or you can do the secure password authentication it's really up to you it's, it's not gonna change anything now something else but that is important though is your login username you need to get your login username from your provider as well. Certain providers, um, there's a change. Like for mine, I actually use Just Host. My um, username um, for the server um, is for me, like this one here, what this email, I think I said what new email. So mine would actually be new email plus the plus sign, the thirdgengroup.com. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. New email plus the thirdgengroup.com. Um, and my then after that, after you have that information, um, your server address for the outgoing mail is the it's the same as my incoming. So it is mail, but remember it's different for for everybody so however your whoever you are set up with you need to get that information from them um, it should be you should be able to find that easily by doing a, a help or search on their site and that and they should be able to give you those um, server addresses for your outgoing mail as well as your incoming mail and again I use this um, the secure thing so and after that all you do is hit hit next it goes through the process and it's set up and that's it after you hit finish it'll begin to actually populate that new email address um, but for the, this sake here it's not going to populate anything because that is most definitely a fictitious email address so I hope this helps you out if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask um, I will answer them according to my knowledge base and if I don't know something I will point you in the right direction until then take care and I wish you the best bye bye